Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Angela. I make investment banking videos here on YouTube along with the occasional lifestyle and travel videos. In today's video, I'm trying out something a little bit different but that I thought would be fun and interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen those memes before. It's those memes that say what my family thinks I do, what my friends think I do, what society thinks I do, and what I actually do. I'll include an example here just so you guys can see what it looks like. I thought it'd be fun to do an investment banking version in a video format. I think that there are a lot of misconceptions about investment banking and these are honestly all misconceptions that I had before going to investment banking myself and I can see why they're misconceptions. So I wanted to help clear the air a little bit and be transparent in terms of what I personally thought investment banking was, what my family thinks it is, what my friends think it is, and what society portrays investment banking as, and what I actually do in investment banking. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Hey, do you have time for dinner on Tuesday? Maybe 7 or 8 p.m.? I'll still be at work, actually. I'll probably get off around 12 to 1. Maybe late night drinks, or I can try to meet you on the weekend. Wait. I didn't know you worked the night shift. I don't. It's just a really long day. Oh, right. You say you work at a bank, right? My city bank closes at 5 p.m. I work at City in their M&A group. It's like mergers and acquisitions, buying, selling companies. Which branch is that again? Never mind. I'll just see you during the weekend. Brunch, 11 a.m. on Sunday. So that friend that you saw just now was actually me. My only idea of a bank was your regular commercial bank. That's the JP Morgan Chase or your Citibank or whatever your local commercial bank is on every corner where you go to deposit checks, take out loans. Only until I actually started learning more about investment banking and recruiting for investment banking did I learn that there was actually a different type of bank out there. So commercial banks is where the regular person goes to deposit checks and an investment bank is more for companies. Investment banks help companies issue IPOs, raise capital in terms of financings, do M&A and help one company buy another company. So investment banks are more geared towards companies, whereas commercial banks are more geared towards the regular consumer. That's why it's such a popular misconception when I say that I work at a bank for people to automatically think that I work at a commercial bank, like the ones that you so commonly see. You're a little hedge fund manager now, huh? What kind of stock should I be buying? Airbnb? Tesla? Should I get into cryptocurrency? Bitcoin? I actually don't really trade. Are little angels going to be the next Warren Buffett? Yeah. I wish. It's been so long since I've seen you. Does everyone do coke? Shh, we don't ask that. We just assume. By the way, are we heading into a recession? Probably no, just as well as you do. I have no idea. So this plays into the second misconception about investment bankers, which is that investment bankers invest. It's a super common misconception. It's literally in the name, investment banking. Why wouldn't they invest in stocks? Anytime I tell family or family friend about my occupation, their first thought is sales and trading. That's typically the image that's portrayed in people's minds when they think about Wall Street, business, finance, banking. It's the one that's portrayed in all the TV shows and all of the movies. So that's also what I thought was involved in investment banking all the way up until I actually did an internship. Just a quick story, I remember during my first coffee chat, I was actually asked if I really understood what investment bankers did. And you know what I said when I was asked that? I said that investment bankers invest, which is completely wrong. Investment bankers do not invest. Investment bankers are actually a middleman. It's an advisory role. So what that means is that investment banks advise companies on what they should do. They advise companies on if they should buy another company and if that company so chooses to do so, then the investment bank will help with that process, evaluation, and different processes in between. I talk about what investment banking actually is a lot in another video of mine, which I'll link down in the description box below. 
that could be helpful for you in terms of understanding what the day to day and what the work actually looks like. Pause, 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 pause. That is not what investment bankers do. What you just saw right now is Hollywood's definition of investment bankers, which is honestly a lot of times what the majority of society thinks that investment banking consists of. If you're wondering what I actually do, check it out here. Most of my days are filled with doing more mundane tasks. It's a lot of PowerPoint, a lot of Excel, and a lot of Microsoft Outlook. There's just a lot of traffic flow coming in in terms of requests and different projects and from different people. And really my day is just spent in front of my laptop and monitors doing things like moving logos, sending meeting invites. Of course, there's also things like doing Excel models and valuation. It is not the norm like you see in a lot of television shows for people to just go out clubbing all the time. I'll say that really up until my investment banking internship at a bulge bracket firm, a lot of people had told me that all of the money you earn is just going to go directly towards all the clubbing that you do. Sure, people do go from time to time as much as a regular person in their early 20s, but it's not nearly as crazy as Hollywood and all these TV shows and YouTube videos out there portray it. So guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this format that I did it in and found it helpful. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts or questions down in the comment section below or if there are any other types of videos that you guys would like to see. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps a lot and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and that bell to turn on notifications so you know whenever I post a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!